Hello, unique device. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make some simple, quick turban designs. Yes, it's designs you can get within five minutes. Some of you will be like, ah, why is she teaching us these small, these simple designs now? We're past this level. My sister and my brother, please, oh, this, this training is for beginners. One of my subscribers sent a message to me and I was really touched. She said, Ma, please, can you teach us some simple designs which I can use to start up a turban business? Um, that she contacted some people and they were like, ah, that she have to pay so she, they can coach her on how to start up the business. I said, ah, uh -uh, saving about money. I teach big designs for free. It's not these small, small ones again. Anyway, I said, let me touch you so today. It might help others too that wants to start the business. It's not about starting big. You can start with these small, small ones and sell. When you sell, you get your gain and also learn these big, big ones to get more bigger customers. Anyway, without taking your time, let's move straight to the training, guys. All right, um, I'm using shiny poly for this fabric. One side is stretchy and the other is not stretchy. You can use any poly material, any stretchy material for this project. The length is 23 inches by 15 inches width. Okay, so I cut it out two pieces. So um, I use I use my my chalk and mark out three inches first. Then I mark 1.5 down. I marked it six times. The first thing I marked out was three inches. Then I start marking 1.5, 1.5. 1.5 I got it in six places so I marked it all over the the fabric and next thing I'll be doing is to start forming my pleats please watch carefully how I do all these designs all of them look simple but it's a bit technical okay so I took the tip of that the edge of that fabric and take it to the first point i marked that place i marked three inches i'll be taking the edge of that fabric to that place i marked i pin it down i'm going to pin that part down throughout then i will take it to my sewing machine and sew down to the end okay so once i'm doing done with that i will also fold this place now i'm still forming my pleats don't know if you understand me that first place I marked 1.5 inch. This one I'm holding now. You use your pin to hold it. Okay. You still do the same thing. Use your pin to hold it. Please, while doing this, make sure you hold the fabric very well with your pin. So when you get your sewing machine, you not give yourself double job. So once I finish pinning everything down, I will also pin the other side of it down. Okay. Alright. I'm done doing that now. And I will show you how to sew it. See how it looks. You can see it. So let's take it to your sewing machine and sew down. Yes, I'm going to sew it down. All right. So I'm going to take this method and I'm going to use this method and complete the whole of this fabric. You can see it. You can continue to hold it down like this until you exhaust your fabric. So at this point, you can see I've done plating out the first down. So it's meaning the last mark, that last 1.5 inches. What I'll be doing is I'll fold it just the way I did the first pleat and I'll seal down again. Guys, I'm done pleating. You can see the outcome. So next thing I'll be doing now is to fold the fabric into two, then locate the center. With my measuring tape, I'll mark out one inch. Please, whatever I'm doing on this fabric, I'm going to do it to the other fabric. Don't forget to do so. So you can see I marked the fabric, okay? Please guys, from now on, watch how I form this design.
locate that point you marked one inch and pin it down. Why so? We are going to sew from that end to that same point you marked one inch. Don't exceed that point. So guys, you can see the cap is almost ready. I'm going to cut out a piece which measures six by six. So we are going to sew it this way, and what do I do the attachment? I'll be placing it this way. I will sew after sewing with my sewing machine. I will turn it out. Make sure that that place you sew, you hide it inside. So I'm done with my seed outcome. I've already turned it out. If you watch closely, you see that this design is ready. I will use my needle and thread to form running stitch at the back of this place. Can remember the way we do a normal our running stitch? In fact, I didn't change it. It's still normal process of doing running stitch. So as I don't doing that, you turn it out. Guys, this particular design is ready. So let's get straight to another design. So guys, um, the fabric I'm also using is a shiny pulley. One side is stretchy, while the other side is not stretchy. Why well, I decided to show you how this fabric is, is because some bell fabric, when you get it, or one, the long side, which measures 60 inches, will be stretchy. But this particular one, the the long part which is 16 inches wasn't stretchy. I don't know if you get me. So the part, part they cut 36 one yard measures as in this part. This part this particular part measures um 36. Why the long part this particular part is not stretchy. This is the one that measures 16 inches. So what I did was um from that stretchy part. I measured out my head circumference and I'm using 23 inches head circumference. So I cut it out 23 inches by 5 inches width, 23 by 5. Then I came over to the other side that is long. I took that long part as the width. I didn't remove anything. Why the length was 26 inches. I don't know if you get me. So this is it here. I have the length 26 inches. The width, I use the full length. But if you don't want yours to be too full, too long, just cut it to 50 or 55, but I'm using the whole of 60 inches. So now I'll start with my pleats, I'm going to form it this way. Just allow this part to drop that edge. I'm not going to sew it in, I'm going to fold the material on top of it this way. Just watch closely and see how I form the pleats, it's very easy. So at this point, I'm done sewing. I'm using my tape to mark 2.5 inches. What I'm doing this is so beginners will understand how to form these plates. But with time, when you learn how to form plates, no need 
to mark your material okay so mark 2.5 inches you want to fold it upwards so it can cover that place you did your sewing so watch the wire from the plate Guys, it's not a must you mark out. What I'm doing them that shock marking is for beginners. So they will see the distance you can give while forming your plates. So you can see the one forming the plates without marking it. You can see it. So I'm I'm done with my this outcome. So after doing this, next thing you'll be doing now is to locate the center of your fabric. I also um get my band. Remember this band, I've already folded it and I sew it down. Alright. So I will take it and notch the center. I'm locating the center. I'm going to notch the center. Now I'll do the same thing to the other fabric and join with my sewing machine. As you can see, I'm done joining everything. So what I will now do is to lock up the back of the turban in order to get a full turban cap base. Okay? So I will use my pin to hold it down before sewing everything down. Use your pin to hold down every necessary part. Then take it to a sewing machine and sew everything out. You can see I'm done sewing mine. You can also pleat the center of this. You can pleat it like pleated all back and you get a design like this. It's left for you. Then you pleat the back of the base. You can see it. Alright, um, I'm done with this. So guys, you can now do your running stitch at the back. That's in form your gathers and this turban is ready. Over to the next design. So um I'm still working with the shiny poly and you can see the front part. So I want to use it, this particular piece to form V face, three layers. The length measures 16 inches by 11 inches width. I cut it out two pieces. So I'll be doing normal pleating process. I've done this design before on my channel, but I'll roughly show you how to do it. So fold the edge of the fabric that way and sew down. You pleat like this again, so and also pleat again and so remember that every pleat will be covering the stitches so I'm going to do the same thing to this fabric and I'm done with that alright the hair circumference I'm working with is 23 inches so the base of my fabric measures 23 inches what I'll do here is I'll fold my measuring tape into two and get half of 23 inches which is 11 and a half and I'll mark it out on that fabric once I'm done with that I will cross each other and make sure that that point I marked out lies upon each other. Then I will use my pin 
to hold it down. Once I'm done doing that, I will sew it. So I'm done with the cap base. I'll be working on the top design. Length measures 26 inches by 17 inches width. I cut out two pieces. Okay. So next thing I'll be doing is I marked out three inches first, then still marking 1.5 in seven places. You can see three inches and 1.5 in seven in seven places. Do that same thing we did in the first design. That same plate we did on the first design. So that's how you're going to form yours. Alright guys, I'll be using this plate to form two turban design. So please watch closely and see how I formed them. I'll fold the fabric and locate the center. Then I put this needle there, this pin there, and I also mark one inch. I don't know if you can see it. Mark one inch. Then I also fold here again. Then I will locate the center and mark one inch. Was that what I did on this piece? I will do it on the other piece. I also use my needle and thread to do a running stitch. Actually, I'm using another color of thread because this is a, this is a temporary stitch. I'll remove this, this thread later, okay? Alright, for the first design I'll be showing you, I'll be using pins. To hold it down because I was still losing it out and do the main design. All right, I don't know if you see the. I don't know if you catch up with what I just did now. I will redo it. You take this fabric and place it on top of this other fabric. Then take this on top of this. This is you forming a crisscross design. Then I'll take this edge and pin it down. Remember, I will I let her loosen up this pin. Okay, but I'm just showing you how to get the first turban cap base. So I'm using my pin to guide it. I'll pin it down till I get to that point that I marked one inch. That particular place you marked one inch, that's where you will end your pinning. As when you are sewing now, you will sew down to that point that you stop. That point that marked one inch. Alright, the other side of it, I will do the same thing. Okay? I'm going to fold it this way. You can see I've located that point that I marked one inch. So use my needle my pin to hold it down from that point i'm going to hold it to the end of the fabric once you are done with this you seal down with your sewing machine then i also lock this place up with that pin see what i'm doing is quite simple 
This design is the first design I'll be teaching you with this particular fabric. Okay, I'll pin down as usual. Once you're done pinning down, you sew to that point that you marked one inch. Okay, you can see it. So that makes it three places. You'll be sewing three places. I'm going to cover it up this way. I also use pin to hold it down. All right. After pinning the whole thing down, you're going to sew it from up to down. So I've turned it out and this design we got. <laughs> wow, this looks good. So this is full crisscross design. You're going to plate the back of a tobanka base and this is it. When you're done, you remove that red thread. Okay, let me loosen it out so I'll be able to use it to tissue under design. Alright, after plating, you can remember this part. I had to mark out that one each so it will be seen because it cleaned off after doing that first design. So I'm going to crisscross it again the way I did before. I'm going to cross it over each other. Now, this is where it changes. Please watch closely. I'm going to hold this part down, this side. Use your pin and hold down. Also, hold this side down. Use your pin to hold it then I will locate that point that I marked one inch I don't know if you understand me and I will see every sewing will end at that one inch part and this is the outcome can you see how it looks okay so next thing I'll be doing now is to complete the sewing please whilst doing this this design be careful so it don't spoil your crisscross all right so um I'm trying to arrange it before forming the last plate. So next thing I'll now be doing is to cover it up. So I will hold this point down, this side. Use my thin and thread, my pin to hold it. Don't know if you get me. So once you are done holding it with your pin, you will do exactly the same thing to the other side. If you check it out, you see I'm done sewing. I purposely left that pin there so I will know where to turn out. Alright. So when turning out, remove the pin. Remove the pin. Okay, so um I'll turn it out. And when I'll be doing same thing to this particular one, don't forget to remove your pin while doing the turn out. So this is the crisscross design. You can just see the edge of this and make it as headband. Why you close your tobanka base? Like the, so the tobanka base will be different, and this particular one will be different. When you put a tobanka base on your head, you place this on your head. It's a design on its own. But as for me, I'll be attaching it ex on, um, entirely on it, so I won't be making it separately. So what I'll be doing now is um, locate that part you see, make both of them to join to each other. Then I will use my pin to hold it to the base. Please, while doing this, make sure you touched that second plate. Make it touch the second plate. Okay? It makes it to look more beautiful while putting it on your head. So I'm going to use a pin to hold it down. Also, I will pin down to this point. Whatever I'll be doing to this side, I will do it to the other side. Once, once I'm done with this, you can stitch the end and join it together. Use your pin as a guide to hold everything down. Then sew your toban cap base. I'm going to sew it. Okay? You can see I use pin to guide mine before going to my sewing machine. I'm done sewing and I'm cutting out the excess part. After doing that, you use a needle and thread and do your running stitch at the back. Stop at this point. Please. Stop at this point while doing your running stitch, and this design is ready. This is the front part, guys. Check this out. If you have watched this level and you love what you are seeing, why not support me now? Just like this video, like it, guys. 
Support your girl. I really need that your support. And if not subscribed, I don't know why you're waiting. No, I don't know why you're darling. Join the unique family. All right, for the last design, um, this particular fabric, I cut it out and it measures 23 inches length by 11 inches width. I had to cut out two pieces of it. Please, this particular design is a bit complicated, but it's easy. Yes. So, I um, have marked it out. And as usual, I marked 1.5, 1.5 down. Okay? Without marking out 1.5, you won't be hemming the edge here. Just sew it without touching the edge. That is where this one is a bit different. Don't touch the edge. So, after sewing, this is what you have. Can you see it? The edge is flying off. I didn't hem the edge. All right, I will locate the center as usual. Just fold it this way. Use my needle, use my pin, sorry, to hold it down. Then use my a measuring tape to mark one inch. Also, I will do the same thing to the other fabric. I'm done sewing and this is the outcome. You can see how it looks. So see that point I marked one inch. So I left it open, okay? So what I'll be doing next is to attach this to the other side. But before doing that, this point that I didn't sew, fold it the way I'm doing and locate the center. Once you get the center, get your pin and place there, okay? Just stick your pin inside there and this will help you to note the center of this fabric. All right, I'm done doing that. And next thing I wanna be doing is to join it. Please, this design is a bit complicated though, but it's easy once you wash very good. So um, I'll be placing the right side up on top of each side, right upon upon the right side. Then the wrong will be facing you. Then use your pin to hold it down. Take it to your sewing machine and sew. And after sewing. And see that edge I told you to sew. After sewing it, though I have not sewn, I'm just showing you. You also take this point, that particular point, you 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 located the center of the fabric. Use your pin to hold those two points together. Okay, we are seeing it. Just hold it together. Then you're going to arrange the remaining side of the fabric and hold it together with your pin down. This part again, I will be sewing it down. Okay. Don't forget, you are going to sew just from this point, this particular point now. I'm going to sew it to the back side. Alright, so I'm done sewing. And see, see this is the back of your tobanka base. That first place you sew. You can see how it looks. So, next one is now that other part you sew. So, this is the outcome. I will turn it out and you will see what you formed. Okay, so um, you see at this point, there's no band here. All right, so what I'll be doing is I'll be taking my measuring tape to measure this part. I'll measure it down, and what I'll get here is 11 inches. The reason is because I'm working for 22 inches hair circumference. So I'll get this band, and this band measures 23 inches length by 3.5 inches width. 23 inches length by 3.5 inches width. I'm folding it so I'll be able to locate the center of this band. Okay, you can sew yours down, you can sew down, so it's easy. So the fabric will not be dangling while locating the center, just the way mine is doing. Okay, I'm still holding that point I notched and I'll take it to the back of the tobanka base. Make sure it aligns with each other, okay? So with the help of my pin here, you're going to do pin work. Pin, I'm going to use pin to hold everything down. So I'll start pinning from right to left. So watch the way I'll be doing the pinning. Don't drag your fabric, please, because if you do that, it will slack while sewing.
Okay, you can see I left the tip of the fabric. You can see I tacked, I pinned down to this point. I left the fabric here, and I also pinned the other one. Left the fabric. So what I will now be doing is from this point, this particular one, we're going to pin it to from this part it is now to the other side of the fabric. Even if I'm making sense, from this part point, this, can you see that part now? I'm going to pin it down here, and it will enter. The, this other side, don't know if you understand. Okay, so I'll pin it down from here down to this point, and I'll use my pin to do so. Then for this point, you're not going to cross it, you're going to place it on top of this part you already held down. Just watch, it's a bit complicated, but if you pay attention, you will see that it is easy, okay? All right, I believe you understood what I did there. So I'm done tacking with my needle and thread. I'm cutting out the excess point. The next thing I'll now be doing is the finished part of this project, which is the loop. So I'll turn it out so you see how it looks. Wow. If you watch this level and you've not liked this video, you are doing me bad though. It's not good. And for those that are yet to subscribe, please do so. You are highly welcome to the family. All right, the remaining thing to do is the loop and the piece I cut out measures 5 inches length by 3 inches width. So I'll be sewing it. After sewing, I'll turn out and attach it, okay? So you can see the way I've turned the whole thing out. So I'm attaching my loop this way. And once I'm done putting it inside the turban, I will sew it out, okay? So make sure you locate those two points. Remember that part you gave allowance, that one inch allowance. Yes, that's where you'll be putting this loop through. Then you're going to place it this way and sew with your sewing machine. Once you're done with that, you cut out the excess and turn everything out from inside to outside. So they will see the right side, okay? Guys, we are done. Mm, we are done. And don't forget to stitch the back of your turban. Remember that running stitch. We'll do it here. And your turban cap is ready. Ta-da! So guys, I believe this video helps someone and encourages one to start up her own business today. So no darling, if you want to start yours, you can start with these small, small designs. And I bet you, 
with time people get to know you and start buying much from you love you guys see you next time